The operator of the crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant has for the first time allowed journalists to go inside a building housing one of the reactors. The number four reactor building was shown to the public at a time when some experts say it may collapse entirely in the event of another strong quake. To limit exposure to radiation, only three journalists and a cameraman were chosen from among the media to accompany nuclear crisis minister Goshi Hosono. The reactor building was damaged heavily by a hydrogen blast on March 15th last year, four days after the tsunami hit the power plant following the earthquake. No meltdown occurred in the reactor because it was temporarily out of operation for a regular check, with all of its nuclear fuel transferred to a storage pool. In the dark reactor building was a pile of debris from destroyed equipment. The visitors were then shown steel rods installed on the second floor after the disaster to heighten quake resistance. The rods were placed in concrete. The radioactive reading on the second floor was 500 microsieverts per hour. Two hours of exposure amounts to the annual permissible level. What used to be the fifth floor now looks like the rooftop. The yellow dome in the wreckage was the lid of a vessel containing the reactor. The storage pool contains 1,535 fuel rods. TEPCO plans to install a cover over the pool in preparation for the removal of the fuel rods next year. Work is underway to remove the ceiling and walls of the reactor building around the pool. I could confirm the building was not leaning and saw the reinforcement work below the pool. The first major step toward decommissioning is the removal of the fuel rods. I can see preparation is definitely underway. Hosono and the media were driven around the sites of all four reactor buildings and were shown equipment designed to remove radioactive material from contaminated water. Members of a government advisory panel reviewing Japan's nuclear fuel recycling policy are being criticized for having a cozy relationship with the nuclear industry. They held a number of closed-door meetings with industry representatives, and they also shared copies of a draft report before making it public. The six members of the panel from the Japan Atomic Energy Commission compiled a report last week on nuclear fuel recycling. They started holding open study meetings in January. Panel members also held more than 20 closed-door sessions between December and April with organizations involved in nuclear fuel recycling. The groups included the Natural Resources and Energy Agency and the Federation of Electric Power Companies. The panel distributed its draft report in April along with a note saying the documents should be handled discreetly. Atomic Energy Commission head Shunsuke Kondo was among those who attended the first four of the closed-door sessions. Critics are demanding members of the government advisory panel explain what was discussed at the meetings with industry representatives. Municipal leaders in Japan's northeast will be getting more money to rebuild communities ravaged by the earthquake and tsunami. They had complained that the central government wasn't offering sufficient reconstruction funds. The new grants total $3.3 billion. That's 50% more than what the municipalities had requested. Members of the government's reconstruction agency selected 71 cities, towns, and villages that will receive the money. About $1.4 billion, or 43% of the latest expenditures, will be used for mass relocation projects. The grants will also be used to construct housing units for evacuees and to rebuild local fisheries. The Japanese government is admitting some fault around last year's nuclear disaster. Industry Minister Yukio Edano has said the government failed to provide sufficient information to the public after the accident at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. He was the government spokesperson at the time. 
I regret the government did not have sufficient information. I also regret a wide gap existed between what I had intended to convey and how the public, especially those affected by the radiation, interpreted my statements. Edano made a statement to a diet-appointed panel on Sunday. He said no one expected that people would have to be evacuated for such a long time. He added he deeply regrets the hardship this caused. He also said he is greatly ashamed that his instructions to government and Tokyo Electric Power Company officials to submit all relevant information was not thoroughly carried out. Edano said he advised former Prime Minister Naoto Kan not to visit the Fukushima plant soon after the accident, but agreed that Kan could do so if he was aware of the po potential political risks in what might be seen as interfering. The panel is scheduled to hear from Kan on Monday.